Hey everybody, how you guys doing? My name is Crazy Jester and welcome back to another episode of War on the Sea. And things are kicking off pretty quickly. Uh, just prior to starting this video, there was a large contingency moving southbound along the Isles of Santa Isabel. I also noticed that we took all of our uh, troops, stupid on me, to out of Cooktown. So, I've got to send Task Force 7 back to go and reoccupy Cooktown so, because, one, we need it. And uh, two, it's, uh, it's pretty vital. So, Port Moresby is looking like we have uh, 2,400 troops, 3,600 supplies. That's a pretty good stronghold as it stands right now. Um, might keep Task Force uh, 10 over here just to keep going back and forth. Looks like they finally arrived. Let's go ahead and get a little closer, please. We go to Manage Cargo and sure enough, offload so we can uh, reoccupy. Cooktown as we need it. Now, somebody did ask if we can build ships from Cooktown. The answer I have for you is I don't, I'm not sure. I've built tier five ports in the past on other islands, and I was not able to uh, build ships out of it. I was only able to build ships out of New Hebrides. I haven't tried it out of Cooktown. So if anyone knows the answer to that, please comment down below. Let me know because I'm actually genuinely curious. I know we can do air because we have a tier five airfield, um, but I'm not, I don't know if we can actually build ships if we get to a tier five port here. That would be interesting to know. Uh, currently 22, 35 hours, September 10th, 1942. And uh, it looks like the Florida Islands are under attack as it stands. It's not gonna do too much for them though as it's a very small minor force. With uh, 41, 71 troops and 4,100 supplies, we could do with a buffering up those supplies as it stands right now, actually. So let's go ahead and do that, shall we? Let's get saying, or Task Force 1 down here. Don't we have cargo groups as well? Uh, the Salt Lake City has arrived back home, too, to be released for repair. Let's go ahead and get that close and get that done. Salt Lake City. Release and repair. There we go. Now, what kind of cargoes do we have? We need to go and buffer the islands a little more, at least with supplies. So let's go ahead and see Task Force One. Can we manage cargo? Can you guys take anything you can? You can take supplies, so perfect. We'll have them on a course to come and drop off some supplies really quick to the island of the Florida Islands. And as soon as it's uh, available for daylight, we'll go ahead and start scouring the area again. Let's go ahead and get a course back and forth between these islands and see if we can't come. Because we missed the group coming in. So we don't want to do that again. Get our Dauntlesses out there. Ah, the Gato has. Ah, and here we go. The Gato has come across something. A 10-ship convoy, no doubt. The one that either has dropped off or is heading that way. Let's go ahead and begin. Get a little action going here. See what we got. So here we go, we've got quite a big group coming in as it stands. Let's go ahead and go drop down to, or lower down to one knot, and see just what we're dealing with. My god, a big old battleship and cargo. Huge amounts of cargo ships, actually. I think we need to damage the battleship and then move in with our fighting force to try and uh, take this out. Let's go ahead and target number one here, the battleship. Hopefully send that down to the bottom or severely cripple it at least. We could go for multiple targets here, but I think we can meet them in battle and do just as much damage. And it is looking like a Congo class battleship. Let's go ahead and confirm. All right, our solution's looking okay. I mean, it's pretty typical for nighttime, especially with a submarine. We're looking at 50% as it stands right now, 51%. So we're probably gonna be sending these and uh, take our chances here. Again, six torpedoes at two degrees. We're going for this Congo. Wait for a good solution. 52%, I, I will take that. Go ahead and send those. Let's go ahead and get the hell out of Dodge. We will go forward three, please. Dive down to 70 feet and we will go to silent mode. And hopefully we're gonna have some good hits here on this Congo, like I said. And here we go. It looks like we're going to get some hits. I don't know if we're going to get all of them. So what we got? We got three 
strikes and we got three duds. Ugh. Oh, you hate to see it. You really just hate to see it. Good job, though. At least we got the hits. Let's go ahead and get a damage report, please. Heavy and heavy for the Congo, which is good. It's going to come to a complete halt. Well, it looks like the Congo's gotten its uh, fires under control. It has sustained heavy damage, though. Let's go ahead and see if we can retreat. 180 seconds to retreat. That's okay by us. No way we would have had our torpedoes ready to rock. We'll see. We'll keep an eye. There is a destroyer heading out our way, so we'll keep an eye on it. But we might have to come back with our Dauntlesses and finish this guy off. So ultimately, heavy and moderate damage on the Congo. Everything else is okay as it stands. Let's go ahead and, like I said, have this big force over here. I'm going to meet off with them if we have to. We want to make sure they're not going to uh, drop off any more troops here. Alrighty, well the only thing to do right now is to get Task Force 9 and the Wasp ready to rock. Manage cargo, but launch aircraft. Dauntlesses naturally. 398 nautical miles. I think that'll be more than enough, I do believe. We also have Avengers. I would like to get them going as well. So let's go ahead and... You know what? I think I would rather have the Torpedo Bombers. If I had a choice... We'll do the Torpedo Bombers first. Twelve of them. Course. Let's rock and roll. Task Force 9 is also moving up towards it. Task Force 1 is getting closer to their destination to drop off the supplies to make it so we have more supplies than troops because that's what you always want. Go a little bit of time compression here. Kingfisher. Ignore. But we do want you in the area, please. Task Force 1 has arrived, manage cargo, and offload supplies, please. Perfect. Meanwhile, you can scour the area. I think our Gato needs to go back really quick to go resupply. So we'll have a little course set for him there. All right, here we go. We have Dauntlesses and Avengers ready to rock and roll. Let's go ahead and go into tactical view. I sense some great, great destruction going on here in the next uh, few minutes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This is going to be disgusting. All right, where is... So we got to take this guy out first. He's still hurting. Dauntlesses can go after the battleship naturally, which then leaves us with a destroyer... A heavy cruiser. I'm not too worried about the heavy cruiser, though. We can start going after these uh, cargo ships. Let's go ahead and get our Avengers going up. Changing course here, please. We're doing good work. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up the Dauntlesses. We're going to get them down lower to get their torpedo bay doors open. Or no, Dauntlesses are going high. That's right. Dauntlesses are going high. Sorry. Don't make that bloody mistake again. Avengers are going low. Problem is, is they're backwards, aren't they? We need the Avengers on the right side of this uh, Congo and the Dauntless is on the other. So what I'm thinking we're going to do really quick just to keep you guys updated is we're going to let everything kind of go by. The Congo will be left alone. We'll strike him with a few more torpedoes, especially since the report still shows that he's heavy moderate. And then we'll go after the cargo ships probably with our dive bombers, get those out of the way. We could go after the heavy cruiser, but I'm not I'm not overly worried about that right now. Alright, they are in full panic mode, so we have our troops selected and we have our targets selected. One of them definitely being the Congo. Hello. You can share in the demise that will be the Congo. So we do have four of the six groups going in for the attack. I have the a group of Dauntlesses and a group of Avengers on reserve just so we can evaluate after the initial attack and see what needs to be focused down. Honestly, I just want to make sure that that Congo's taken out, so we have to go back with him with some Dauntlesses and Avengers. That's exactly why we have them. And here comes the initial attack. It looks like the heavy cruiser over here is actually setting up perfectly. 
Torpedoes away, torpedoes away for the heavy cruiser, and it is turning right into him. That is going to be perfect. And torpedoes away for the Congo. Get out of here, gentlemen. Bloody beautiful. Come on, let's get some good hits. Looks like we got a good initial hit on that heavy cruiser. And there we go. That's exactly what you want to see. Three and four on the Congo. That is done. Perfect. And it looks like we got a pretty good strike on the two other. Oh, yes. They are not looking good at all. Definitely got some good hits on the cargo ships as well with the Dauntlesses and Avengers. Absolutely amazing. All right, let's go ahead and take a quick report here. Congo, critical and critical. With their heavy cruiser, heavy and heavy now, we might as well. Where is the Dauntlesses? The Dauntlesses are right here. Let's go ahead and target number two if we can. And go ahead and give the attack order. We'll have the Avengers swing around as well. And there we go. Congo officially sinking. Perfect. And we have a little torpedo heading this way. Is it going to get a good strike? Fortunately, it's just going to miss. That's okay, though. Our second group of Avengers is going to have to go after something that was already struck, and that is going to be number seven. Report shows that it's heavy and moderate, so we'll go ahead and give them the attack orders for number seven. Go ahead and attack. And here come these beautiful bastards right overhead. You can see the carnage below. It doesn't look good for the Japanese Navy. Hopefully these guys are going to strike true and we can send this heavy cruiser down to the bottom as well. And here the dive begins. Come on, guys. Strike true, strike true. Bombs away, bombs away. Oh my goodness, yes. Bloody beautiful. Report. Heavy, heavy still. Okay, well... I'm making a captain's decision here. We're going to pull these Dauntlesses away. Hopefully they can stay true to their target. We're going to forget about number seven. We're going to change our course for number two. He is almost bloody done for, so we want to make sure we can get that. Let's go ahead, give the attack order, have him turn around if we can, and get these torpedoes sent this way. Come on. And here we go. Torpedoes away, torpedoes away. Go ahead and get out of there. Oh, we lost one. That is not what we want to see, unfortunately. But, torpedoes are away, and I don't see... Oh my goodness, yes. That is disgusting. Four hits with the torpedoes. Great bloody work. And number two, officially sinking. Hell yes. And there we go, so we have the roar of the engines with the planes in the background. We are finished and getting out of here. Two sunk in the end, command points gained eight. One Congo down and one heavy cruiser down. Heavy and moderate for the cargo ship that we hit in minor and minor for the second one. Go ahead and retreat. Well, that was absolutely beautiful. Couldn't have asked for a better show of force. Go ahead and return to base, gentlemen. Get you guys out of here, and we'll have our Task Force 9 come back down south of Guadalcanal. Meanwhile, we have the Gato going back, and we have... Is this the... This is Cargo 1 and Cargo 2, waiting for a resupply of New Hebrides. And it appears as though it has happened. Perfect. Go ahead and manage cargo if we can, and get all these troops and supplies over here. Engineering, everything ready to rock and roll, perfect. And old Blue himself, what can you take, sir? Go ahead and take some supplies. Let's also swap positions if we can, please. Perfect. And get a course over to Rennell Island. And meanwhile, we'll get some oil for cargo two all set up. Go ahead and again, another course to Rennell Island. How is everything else looking as it stands right now, especially this area? Cooktown, troops 500, supplies 1,000, looking good. Air, B-17s, let's go ahead and we have our HE bombs. 
will want to go ahead and get AP bombs. And let's go do a quick scouting mission along the coast over here. That would be the best course of action for us right now. And perfect. We have 130 command points actually in our name. We need a new task force to come out and help. So there we go. We've got our new task force built and ready to rock. They are going to go come up to Guadalcanal as well. All our ships are looking good. So we'll probably retreat task force one once our new task force arrives. Let them go repair, get the command points back, and bring them back out as soon as they're ready to rock and roll. Not too terribly worried about the Florida Islands because we have so many troops here that the Japanese didn't drop off anything. Hello. It looks like we have a task force coming in from the Japanese over here. What time is it? It's 1301. Let's go ahead and launch aircraft, shall we? We're going to need our Avengers once again. Go ahead and get a course set. Perfect. Gato going. And you know what? If we need Task Force 1 to come over and deal out some damage, then damn it, they're here. we got to run the risk. Yes, they're definitely dropping stuff off. Malaita, it's still looking okay. We have a chance here. Avengers are being encountered. Let's go ahead and begin. It very well might be the Kingfisher. It very well might be the invasion force here. And it also looks like the ships are in play too, even though they are ages away. They won't be able to do much. But here it is. Invasion force has come. Oh my goodness, this is two battleships. Holy hell, that is quite a force. Okay, I gotta be honest, I wasn't expecting two battleships. So two battleships and it looks like two light cruisers, a couple destroyers, and then the invasion force of the cargo ships. All right, so I've given my attack orders. After consideration, due to the fact that there are only four cargo ships, so the invasion force isn't going to be terribly big. I have determined that the best course of action for right now is to either try and sink one of the battleships or severely cripple it. But if we can cripple them and then get a task force in here and knock out both of these guys, I mean, we're not going to do anything with the St. Louis. They're just too far away. Come in with a new task force or completely hammer them with aircraft on the next go around with Avengers or Dauntlesses. That might be the best course right there. We have two groups of Avengers going after one, and the last group going after the second. Just to get some damage on board here. Here come the groups. My goodness, the AA fire on battleships is absolutely disgusting. And this is the group that's going after the second one. Torpedoes away, torpedoes away. And torpedoes away on the second group. Looks like these are going to be pretty solid hits. We might miss this first torpedo right here. Two hits. Good. We did miss the second one. Good strikes right there. Come on, get out of here, gentlemen. My god, the AA fire is just absolutely disgusting. Look at that. Goodness, and we had two duds on that last go around. Three duds on that last go around for that last group. My god. Okay, report. Heavy and, oh, excuse me. Heavy and heavy and minor and minor, it looks like. Let's go ahead and retreat, leave, confirm. How many aircraft would we lose? We lost eight aircraft in that attack. That is pretty disgusting. We have 0.3 hours left before we can do anything. Let's go ahead and make sure Task Force 1 gets a spy plane out. Go ahead, Avengers and RTB, please. Good thing we're close to Rennell Island. We can just replenish if we need to. And Task Force 1, stay the hell away from all that because that is not a fight that we want to pick right now. Dauntless is going to tactical view. See what we're dealing with here. There it is. Beautiful. Port. Not technically spotted yet. There we go. Report. So one is heavy and moderate. Two is minor and minor. But we want to focus down number one the most. 
and attack orders have been given. We're having two groups go after number one, 1,000 pound AP bombs. Hopefully they can penetrate and get this one sunk. And the last group will go after the, and the last group will go after number two. Again, hopefully those AP bombs can penetrate and hit the magazine compartment. And that would be best case scenario. And that certainly would be a sight that you wouldn't want to see on a battleship or any ship for that matter. Dive bombers overhead. Oh my god, the absolute power of their anti-aircraft rounds. Look at all of that. Absolutely disgusting. And bombs away, bombs away. Boy, that was a lot of misses. That's what I will say. That was a lot of misses on our part. That was pretty disappointing, honestly. Get out of here, men. Looks like we're going to have to uh, hit the practice range a little bit with your guys' aim. That was pretty bad. We got direct hits, but didn't really do much. Report. Heavy and heavy, moderate and moderate. Let's go ahead and sound the retreat. At least one of them will have to return to base for repairs, 100%. Go ahead and leave, confirm. We lost one aircraft, though. Not the worst thing in the world. Wasp, go ahead and return to Renault Island really quick if you can. I wouldn't mind going and striking Shortland Islands and trying to uh, bring that back down to a Tier 1 port. That would severely cripple the uh, Japanese as well. I think, you know what? That's going to be our task. Go get Task Force 11 over here, please. We're going up there, and we are dishing out death and destruction. Bringing down the Shortland Islands. And our group is just about to arrive. Perfect. Task Force 11, can we bombard? Shore bombardment. Beautiful. Portland Islands. Go ahead and do it again. That used up a lot of their ammo, no doubt. Oh, yeah. That's disgusting on their part. Now they have only a Tier 1 port and no airfield to launch anything from. That is a success on our part right there, ladies and gentlemen. Task Force 11. Force. Get out of there and let's get back to Rennell Island so we can repair or rearm you. Great bloody work. And our cargo ships have arrived. Let's go ahead and manage cargo if we can. Welcome back, gentlemen. Our invasion force is ready to rock and roll. Perfect. I am, uh, I'm really liking how this uh, campaign is going so far. I think that's going to do it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. It was action-packed, full of aerial destruction except for that last one gosh i'm gonna get those guys while we're uh, waiting for the next episode they are going to be doing some training left right and center to work on their aim but in the meantime if you guys have enjoyed the episode please comment down below let me know what you guys thought likewise if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up as it helps me out and helps the channel out quite a lot in getting these videos out to everybody else and if you're new to the channel and want to see more videos from my channel please consider subscribing as I try and get videos out once to twice a week and working on new video games coming out. We just need them to release already. Oh my goodness, everything's coming out like late September, early October, but new video games, new content got coming your guys' way very soon. I'm excited for it, I hope you guys are too. But until then, I hope you all have an incredible day. Take it easy, okay?